Hi guys, Patty from Patty's Crafty Spa, and I'm just here to show you this is a folio I designed. Um, and let me start off by showing you the paper. So I literally only used, um, it's actually all I had for this particular collection, because it's all I've been able to get for right now, um, is the Graphic 45 Fairy Dust. Super pretty. Absolutely love this paper. So I will be sure to get more before it's gone. And I also used the journaling cards and stuff. So as far as what I have left from making this with the 8x8 paper pad is like this. This is all I have left. So I probably could cut a few more tags, but this is everything I have left from that 8x8 paper pad. Um, with the exception of the back of the main page that I can actually cut out because it's like the purple flower. So I could do that. And I also used purple cardstock. And that is from Michaels and is part of the Value Pack collection. And it's the variegated purples. So I had used that. And this is my own design folio. I will have a tutorial coming out soon on this. If I can, I want to try to start it this week. Um, everything is depending upon um, when I get my score tape delivery. And it is showing out for delivery today. So depending on what time it comes today, I will try to get started on that. Um, otherwise, just keep an eye out because I will do a tutorial on how I made this so you can make one too. So let's just take a little walk through. So it is a trifold. And let me get you some measurements on that real quick. So this is, so the cover itself is 7 by 8. And it is about an the. The spine part is about an inch, but it does go a little further because of the top page. So real quick, so you walk through like this. And let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. Oops, hold on. All right, so let's just zoom in a little quick. So what I did on the first page is this I'm calling... Um, like a bunch of pockets or something. I'm not sure. I'm going to give it a cute little name. Um, but you'll see why in a minute. So on the front part of here, there is a belly band. And the belly band is keeping the pages behind it closed. And I did make some tags. And real quick, let me just show you. I use the um, labels and tags from Creolese. And this large tag is C-N-L-E-L-T-09. Super beautiful. I absolutely love these tags. And then I also use smaller ones that match. And it's CLLT09. And I will leave you a link below to where you can get these gorgeous tags yourself. The nice part about it is you have like the, the big part of the tag and then you have the inner piece. So you don't have to try to size the two different pieces together to get them to match. There's a die that two dies for one tag. So you get the outside cut and then you get the inside pattern paper cut. So that's super pretty there. So these are my tags. I didn't put anything on the back only for the most part the fact that I was running out of the pattern paper and I wanted to make as many tags as I could. So it goes like that and then these are the cards. And I didn't want to cut these. I could have cut these down to make them tags but I wanted to leave them because I absolutely love the backs because the backs are so pretty on these. So then what this does is it flips up like this and just zoom again. So I have a pretty card I cut down. I did round my edges on this and then this one here flips down. So then what I have here is some more pockets. Both of these pockets are the same. So I did the tags. This one I just did the pattern paper. And then it folds this way. So you have two photo mats here and here. And then over here again, two more of the pockets with tags. Right there. And then again, these ones flip this way. And then there's a big pocket in the back. And again, more of the cards and stuff and the fancy tag. So you can see the pocket right here. 
Super pretty. So just put all this back in. And then it holds everything into place with the pockets that fold over. And then the belly band that comes from the top and the bottom. And then everything stays in place because I have a belly band on this top piece right here. And then I have a pocket on the bottom piece. So everything just will stay together so now it won't, I mean if you pull it it's going to come of course, but it will hold it all together in place like that. That keeps everything closed and nice and tidy. And then you come over here to this side. So I have a belly band on the corner angled right here. Again, same idea to keep the flaps closed. So then take out the cards. So pretty. So then what I did was I took one of the pocket cards and I only attached it like in a U formation here. So I actually have a cute little side pocket right here. So I made a couple little mini tags out of the scraps and they just go right in here like that. Just like that. And then what I did do is I folded the corner piece here just to give it a little bit of design. So I folded up the corner right here and then it, so that way it doesn't interfere with my belly band either. I could have brought this down lower but I decided to go with, you know, folding it over just for a look. So then this flips up and again, same thing, U formation on the pocket card and then I have some little tags hidden on the side, just like that. And then a bigger pocket here, not just a gorgeous photo, so pretty. So then this comes down and then right underneath the belly band so it keeps everything nice and closed. And then we come over to the center and I have just a very simple little waterfall and it has a magnetic closure on a ribbon. So you can see just like that. And then it just all flips up for the waterfall. And all the photo mats. And then I just use a pocket card at the back just to cover that over and I thought it was pretty. So all folds down just like that. And then over on this page here, again I used a pocket card as for a pocket. So it just goes like that. And my card and my tag. So this has a little magnetic closure right down here. So it just opens like this, clips open. And what I did was I had a very shallow pocket here. This is only an inch wide. And I didn't like how my pocket was bowing. So what I did, I don't know how well you can see it, but is I cut out a piece of chipboard. You can kind of see the dimension there. And I glued the chipboard down on top of this thin pocket. So then that way it would keep it a little more flat. And then I have a magnet down here so you can hear that. So it closes together. So let's start on this side over here. So over here I have a pocket. So pocket to hold four by six cards right there. And then on the, this part here, so like you saw, there's a pocket there. Very shallow one. And then this opens up like this. So I absolutely love that look right there. I have all the back sides of these pocket cards and I think they are so, so pretty. So that's like my favorite part page. So then this opens up here. Again, pocket card here and here. And I did add at the top for a little tag. So that goes right in there. You can see it from that side. And nothing on that. Then just a simple pocket right here with the cards. Closes over. And then here on the center page, again, a belly band. Then I took a pocket card and I glued the pocket card, the top corner here and the bottom corner here. So then that way, when you have your book, nothing will fall out the bottom. I mean, unless you have something really thin right here, but 
I use the pocket card as a bottom and then I you can see where it doesn't go all the way through or it goes all the way through rather but it won't fall out um, because I thought that was kind of a pretty little look just sticking it like that so it just just sits like that and it just folds all back up and then right back to everything else and then the back side and then I just decorated the spines with the paper just like that anyway I hope you like what you see again I will have a tutorial coming out at some point soon I am just waiting on an order of score tape because I don't have I don't want to use up all my um, 3 8 tape and the half inch tape to make the cover so I'm just waiting on an order for wider score tape to come in which by the way I do sell in my store so if you are in need of score tape you can check that out there anyway I will have a tutorial coming soon for my fairy dust folio and if you like what you see give me a thumbs up I would love it if you would subscribe hit the bell to be notified if you want when I start uploading the tutorial and until next time guys happy crafting bye